I welcome you again to this episode of Physical Geography, where today the topic of today we are still on the internal structure of the earth. The topic we are still talking about is the internal structure, the internal structure of the earth. And we are going to start by the question number one. The question number one is asking, what is the approximate radius of the earth? What is the approximate radius of the earth? A. 3,200 kilometer. B. 6,371 kilometer. C. 10,000 kilometer. D. 1,000 kilometer. So the approximate radius of the earth is equal to 6,371. So this is the correct this is the correct answer for this question number one. We go to the question number two. And remember that those are questions of multiple choice styles way of asking. And remember that uh, the, the next coming national exam, the question will be in this style. And if it is for the first time to see the video on this channel, make subscribe so that all uploaded videos will be seen on your screen so let's go to the question number two remember that in the previous episode we talked about different boundaries between the layers of internal structure of the earth where we have said that more of the six discontinuity is a boundary between the crust and the mantle while gutenberg discontinuity is a boundary between the between the mantle and the core, and now we are going to see the boundary between the crust and the mantle is known as rhizosphere, asthenosphere, or more or more of the sick discontinuity, D, Gutenberg discontinuity. So the correct answer is C, because more or more of the sick discontinuity is the layer that separate. Uh, the crust and the mantle. Let's go to the question number three. What is the asthenosphere? When you talk of asthenosphere, this term asthenosphere, what do you understand? When you talk of asthenosphere, A, a solid layer in the inner core, B, a rigid part of the crust, C, a same molten layer beneath the ectosphere, D, the outermost layer of the earth. It is a semi molten rock or semi molten layer beneath the rhythmosphere. We go to the question number four. The question number four is asking uh, which of the following layers is responsible for tectonic plates movement? They give us different examples of layers, but they want us to choose which one is responsible for tectonic plates movement. A. Inner core. B. Asthenosphere. C. Outer core. D. Crust. So the correct answer is B. Uh, the, the layer that is responsible for tectonic plates movement, it is what we call asthenosphere. Let's go to the question number five. The question number five is asking which statement is true about the Earth's core? Which statement is true about the Earth's core? Which statement is true about the Earth's core? A. Both inner core and out core. B. The out core is solid and the inner core is liquid. D. Out core is liquid and the inner core is solid. D. Both layers are gaseous. So the correct answer is C. The statement which is correct is C because remember that in the previous episodes we talked about the, in the types of uh, Core. We have inner core and outer core. Inner core, it is in a solid state. As we say that it is solid state because of uh, heavy minerals uh, 
like iron and, and, and nickel, which are fine there. So, while in Autakoa, the, the rocks are in liquid state. So, therefore, the correct answer is C. Go to the question number six. Which layer? The question number six. The question number six. Which layer is directly beneath the earth crust? The outer core, the inner core, the lower mantle, the upper mantle. So the correct answer is D, the upper mantle. Because the upper mantle is directly beneath the earth crust, it is directly, you know, the lower mantle and the upper, we have lower mantle and the upper mantle, and then that upper mantle, it, it is directly beneath, it, it has, uh, the, the, the boundary between crust and mantle, it is separated by more of a sick discontinuity, and when we remove more of a sick discontinuity, it means that the upper mantle touches or it is beneath the earth crust. So the correct answer is this one D. You go to the question number seven. The temperature increases as you go deeper into the, the earth. This is known as A. Thermal layer, uh, layering B. Geothermal gradient. C, core heating, D, earth convection. So the, 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 when temperature increases as we go deeper into the earth, so such a term is called, this term is called geothermal gradient. Because geothermal gradient is a, is a situation where temperature increases as we, we go deeper into the, the, the earth crust. So the correct answer is B. You go to the question number eight. Which of the following correctly orders the earth's layers from the outer monster to the inner monster? Remember that the outer monster is the crust. So they want we want to see which one is correct. Uh, starting to A, uh, we have. Uh, Mantle, which is the second, and it is not the first. Crusts, outer core and inner core. So this question, this answer would be correct if this one's crust comes before this mantle and it is not correct. Crust, mantle, outer core, inner core. This is correct. Crust, core, and the core would come at, before this one mantle. And therefore, this this statement is wrong. The outer core, inner core, mantle, and the crust. So they start from the innermost part to the outermost part. And the question is asking to give uh, the layer which is ordered correctly from the the outermost to the innermost. So the correct answer is this one, because from the outermost which is crust, go to the mantle, outer core, and inner core. So, the correct answer is B. You go to the question number nine. The question number nine is asking, uh, what type of rock are mostly commonly find in the earth continental crust? And remember that uh, the rocks which are found on the continental crust the rocks which are on finding on continental crust, we call them granitic rock. But those of basaltic rock are found on oceanic crust. So therefore, the correct answer is C. The correct answer is C because um, granitic rocks are found, the, those granitic rocks are found on the continental crust, why this facility are found on oceanic grass. We go to the question number 10. The question number 10 is asking which layer which layer is known to
to behave plastically and allow tectonic plates to move which layer is known to behave plastically and allow tectonic plates to move so it is not for the first time to, to, to find this question so this question uh, we have retosphere, asthenosphere, crust and inner core so the correct answer is the correct answer of this question number 10 is B it is the asthenosphere it is the one that 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 behaves plastically and allows this tectonic plate to move. We go to the question number number eleven. Go to the question number eleven, which is asking the boundary between mentro and the core is called. It is called Gutenberg discontinuity. So the correct answer is C without reading the other things. So I think we reach, I think we reach to the end. So this is the end of our session. This is the end of our session. And thank you very much to watch this video. Please don't forget to subscribe because if you subscribe or upload the videos, will be seen on your screen. Have nice time.